Okay, my little angels, come on in. Welcome to my not completed kitchen. But this time next week, it should be all completed. Fingers crossed. First world problem, not gonna talk about it. So I'm so glad you all are here. Everybody asked me to please do the video on how to do the tripe and the stew. Okay, stuff happened yesterday, things went chaotic. I ended up making it without the camera. I actually did film it and forgot to hit record. Anyways, I did make it. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through each step of what I did, including dun, 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 making homemade chocolate pudding. So everybody gather around. I think we're all gonna have to stand for this one, but don't worry, the seats are in there waiting for us. Everybody can see. Okay, I want the short people in front. Okay, you guys are great. I, I'm just gonna close the fridge, guys. I'm gonna be walking around the kitchen talking to you. So I'm wearing my special You Are Enough shirt. See the back? Can you guys see it? I love sending messages to people behind me, I really do. Um, so, <laughs> hello new people, I see you. It's not normally like this. Um, it's different kind of videos, but once in a while I like to do a cook or bake with me. So we're gonna do a, basically no, it's very little cooking um, dessert with me. This is a family favorite. It's called a tryphamisu. It's a cross between a trifle and a tiramisu. And this one is gluten-free and lactose-free. So actually it's not, I'm lying, but it could be lactose free. There's a tablespoon of butter. There could, it could be, you could use margarine. Okay. So it could be lactose free, but it definitely is gluten free. It's also low fat. Ta-da! And delicious. I have to tell you, delicious. Okay. So hello, new people. I'm glad you're here. Please feel free to give it a thumbs up to share it. Sharing is caring. Comments are amazing. If you're comfortable commenting, please do. If you just want to silently watch, that's okay. You do you, boo. Okay, and please hit that subscribe button below. Thank you. And hello, 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 my returning people. I love my little angels so much. Thank you all so much for being here and for always being supportive and kind and loving. I, and I love, and new people listen, this is why we comment too. I love watching you guys interact with each other. It warms my heart. I love interacting with you. I love knowing what you think. I love your video ideas. And when we connect like that, we take this great big world and go and make it smaller. And that's a good thing. So excuse the air conditioning sounds. I can't help that. Um, baby Angel's upstairs already working on getting ready for prom today and grad is tomorrow. Um, so let's get right into this cooking or semi-cooking. So the first thing I did was I couldn't find my package of um, chocolate pudding mix. You know what? It's just as easy to make your own guys and it's so freaking good for you. Now we use um, skim lactose-free milk. You can use anything you want, any fat level of milk, lactose or non-lactose. Hell, you could even use chocolate milk if you wanted to. So you need two cups of chocolate milk, two cups of any milk, okay? You're gonna put an egg yolk in it. Pardon? Oh, you don't know how to break an egg? Okay, so when you break your egg, kind of keep it on an angle so the whites fall into another bowl or the garbage, whatever. And then keep doing that with the egg yolk until the whites are gone. You can also just scoop your fingers in and let the whites run out, but that grosses people out. So you're gonna put it in with the milk. I also add a splash of um, coffee in with it as well. Coffee always brings out chocolate flavor, always. And then you're gonna mix it up. Now, you're gonna get a small saucepan. Are you with me? You're gonna put a half a cup of sugar. I gotta be honest. I use two thirds of a cup, okay? And it's still, I think it could be sweeter, but that's just me, okay? You're gonna, in the sauce pot, put that in. You're gonna put in three, one, two, three tablespoons of cornstarch. That's your thickener along with the egg yolk. And two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Depending how chocolatey you like it, make it three, it's up to you. Um, but it is an intense chocolate flavor, I will tell you that. 
okay? Now you're gonna whisk that all up so it's all mixed, right? You're gonna put it on your stove. You're going to pour in the milk mixture and you're gonna give it a good stir, okay? Turn your burner on to medium, you know? If you're just working with the numbers around a six, seven mark and you're gonna whisk, okay? It takes about five minutes and you're gonna see it start to boil, but you really want it mixed. And just when you think it's not gonna mix, it mixes. And when you think it's not gonna boil, it boils. So just keep stirring it until it thickens. You can then add a piece of chocolate if you want. I didn't think it needed it, so I didn't. Then you take it off, pour it into your container. No, sorry. Add a little bit of salt and a little bit of vanilla to your liking, okay? The salt brings out the sweetness, it really does, and the vanilla actually will bring out the chocolate flavor. But if you put pure vanilla in at the beginning, it's gonna cook away and the flavor will be gone. So you put it in at the end. Now put that in a bowl and stick it in your fridge, okay? We have fast forwarded to an hour. It's in the fridge, it's cooled, all's good. Now, you're gonna take a pan Okay, I ended up using this because my trifle bowl is somewhere in the basement because, you know, I don't have a working kitchen yet. So, I just took an aluminum pan. I took leftover coffee from this morning. I added three packets of Splenda because there was about six cups. Okay, so I poured that in my pan. This is the point where you can add alcohol. My aunt doesn't like the taste of alcohol, so I didn't. Normally, you can add Frangelico, Amaretto, um, whatever liqueur that you like that you think will go well with a coffee, chocolate, cherry flavor, go for it, okay? Orange triple sec would be nice too, but my uncle doesn't like orange, so I had to make sure, and this is for his birthday, so. Then I took my lady fingers. Now, I was so lucky that to find gluten-free lady fingers. However, however, they absorb like this and turn to mush, which you want anyways, because you want tiramisu and trifle is a very, anyways, it's, it's a mushy consistency, but I do add crunch in it and I'm gonna show you how. So what I did is I put it all on the bottom. So you soak them and I break them to fit. And then I put them along the sides. See that? Okay. Then I took some pecan pieces and put them on the bottom. And I took some chocolate chips and I went, put them on the bottom. And then I put the chocolate pudding, a good layer of it, nice thick layer of the chocolate pudding. Then I took some more pecans. I took a half a tub of Cool Whip, which was the fat free kind and the low sugar and put it on. And then I did another layer of pecans and chocolate chips And then I added the cherry pie filling. Now, the cherry pie filling is a can. It was low sugar, half the sugar. But what I like to do is add a little bit of lemon juice to it, just to brighten it a bit. You can also add a little cinnamon if you want. I didn't, um, but I like that brightness, that freshness that it gives. Mint would be amazing in this. Fresh mint chopped up would be really nice too. I didn't do that because I had no mint, but you could do that. So once you have that cherry layer, then you're gonna add another layer of the Cool Whip, actually the rest of the Cool Whip. Sprinkle it with chocolate chips. You can shave chocolate if you want to be poo poo shishi. And then I just added a circle of leftover cherry pie filling. The lid squished it, but when I take it off, it'll be just fine. And then you stick it in the fridge overnight so everything me messes and melds and together. Auntie Angel, why do you call this tiramisu? Okay, so I've made tiramisu before and I actually love tiramisu. Um, I'm hoping baby Angel answers the phone because she knows I'm filming. We're just gonna let it go. Um, so sorry, you guys, I'm so live filming. What can I say? So um, I made the tiramisu, but Mascarpone cheese and I do not get along. I love mascarpone. Oh my, or mascarpone. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. 
I love that stuff to die for. It kills me. It kills my gallbladder. It kills me. Um, so we tried it with um, cream cheese and it just wasn't the same. And then my husband said, well, why don't you make a trifle? And I said, because I don't have any um, pound cake or angel food cake, both of which you could use in place of ladyfingers, okay? Hell, you could use leftover banana bread if you wanted to, or carrot loaf or something. So we ended up using ladyfingers. But I like them soaked in the coffee. This recipe kind of came to be over a couple tries. So the ladyfingers and the coffee mixture with the, um, the pudding makes it the tiramisu part. The fruit and the whipped cream and the chocolate and the pecans makes it the trifle kind and the sherry or the amaretto, whatever booze. When I put the two together, he said, so is this a tiramisu or is this a trifle? And I went, this is a trifle masu. So this is my famous trifle masu recipe. And I hope you like it. I hope you'll give it a try. I really think you'll like it. It is dead easy, guys. It really is. Especially if you're in a pinch, you can use ready-made pudding. I can't because um, it's very hard to find ready-made gluten-free pudding, but you can go to the store and buy most of these ingredients and that makes it no cook at all. Um, and you can just use the ready-made pudding and you can use chocolate, you can use vanilla, you can use whatever flavor they have. It's up to you. I did chocolate and cherry because I like the black forest cake feeling. I love that taste mixture together. And I know my uncle likes it. So, cause um, he, yesterday was his birthday and he came for his 70th here and we ended up having a little party and I made him a homemade strawberry shortcake. Now, again, I have to chemify all my recipes. My strawberry shortcake is made with um, a cake mix and not biscuits and not a sponge cake. I like a vanilla cake and I just cut it in half to do it. And then I fill it with um, pudding and Cool Whip mixed together and lots and lots and lots of strawberries and do the same thing. And then I love to get strawberry syrup that I've made and just or strawberry puree or preserve and just sprinkle them across the top. And again, you can shave chocolate on top of it. Very little cooking involved. You know, you can buy a ready-made sponge cake or angel food cake or whatever you want. But this trifamisu, if you're in a hurry, you can run to the drugstore, get the ingredients and have it made in 10 minutes flat. I guarantee it. 10 minutes is all you need. As long as your Cool Whip is defrosted. If you don't, then you gotta buy the spray bottle and do that. Even better because you can make it look really fancy with the spray bottle. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the Trifamisu. I hope you like it. I hope you don't think, looking at it going, Ugh. it's really actually really good. And like we've made it with the chocolate pudding, but you can make it with the vanilla. I'll tell you what's really good is um, a peaches and cream one. So you make it with vanilla pudding and um, peaches. And you can use canned peaches, guys. It's real easy to use the canned peaches, especially the pre-sliced ones, you know? And I love that flavor combo. It's so nice. And it, it just makes it light and refreshing and very summery. And then sprinkle the top instead of chocolate chips or pecans. I would use um, slivered almonds or even um, sliced almonds that you lightly toast. Be very careful. Um, that would be incredible. Um, I would still soak in um, coffee, but you could soak it in the peach juice. Soak your cake or lady fingers in the peach juice from the can. That would give it an amazing peach flavor. Like we're talking intense. I really wish I'd made a peaches and cream one now. Anyway. <laughs> But those are just two flavor combinations. You could also do vanilla strawberry and call it a strawberry and cream trifamisu. But I guarantee you, it will impress the heck out of anybody, especially if you make it in a real trifle bowl, which is, if you don't have a trifle bowl, but you have a cake stand and you can turn the lid over, the lid becomes your trifle bowl. Good tip. You can also 
get plastic cups from the dollar store. So these are colored, but you could get clear. You can make individual ones. How friggin' fancy poopushishi are you if you serve that to people? Yes, you can do it in crystal dishes too, but it's super easy to accommodate changing it into individual portions. I wouldn't put it up the sides then, and I would do two layers of the cookie or cake mix. Um, but yeah, wouldn't that be pretty? Hell, I'm gonna be serving it in these. This is the aunt and uncle that are basically our bonus parents and her grandparents. So they, they're fine with paper plates and they understand about the kitchen and everything else. Like, so yeah. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna try to film tomorrow, but tomorrow's grad day. Um, what I might try to do is film tonight to release tomorrow and maybe do a read to you. Um, let me know if you like that. Oh, I will be doing a second video today because I got a notification that the purse that somebody bought for me for my birthday from um, Shannon at the Rooted Fern is on its way. The first one was lost in delivery and they sent out a second one as quick as they could and it's out for delivery today. So I will definitely be going on to show you that and to thank the person profusely. Um, yeah, and pretty soon I should have the one from Juart, the Canadian site one, and I can't wait to show you that one too. Um, I really think we'll be doing a lot from her. I really like, I like both of them, but she's Canadian, so. Um, but Americans, you can use the Rooted Fern. I highly, highly recommend her. You can use Juart too. I highly recommend both of them. Okay, both, both, both. So yeah, as always, you guys, I love you. I value you. I honor you. And I'm so very, very glad that each and every one of you was born 